Welcome to the Michigan Travel Show, a kaleidoscope of stories about the people, places, and events that shape our great state. We're in Gaylord, Michigan at the Alpenfest. In fact, it's the 45th on the 45th, and we're with the president of the Alpenfest this year, Bill Wishart. Bill, you've got a hat. You've got later hosen. you got the whole thing going. I'm, Tell us what's cool. Denny, I'm ready. We are celebrating this year. It's our 45th annual Alpha Fest on the 45th parallel. We are so excited. We think we have an outstanding festival planned for the week with free entertainment, lots of free food, and fun for the whole family. There are several traditions here that are unique to the Alpenfest. I mean, you've got queens, and you've got parades, and you've got a midway, but you've also got some other things that no one else has. Can you talk about those? That's exactly right. Tonight, one of our uh, traditional items is the burning of the boog. We have the giant boog over here. It's about 12 or 13 feet tall. The boog, uh, you insert all of your troubles into the boog, and then we burn the boog later tonight, and that ensures that we're going to have successful Alpenfest with great weather. And the whole year after that's going to follow, and it's going to be great weather, too, all the way through the ski season, right? Well, that's what we're hoping, of course. We want lots of our friends from downstate and around the Midwest to come and join us, of course. Alpenfest actually started in 1965 when we had uh, a need in our community for a celebration. It was all put together for our uh, members of our uh, community in the, in the county and in the city to celebrate Gaylord and the, uh, and the Swiss motif. And then, of course, we invite our friends and neighbors from all over the Midwest to come and join us. Well, it looks like a lot of people are piling into town to see the festivities, and uh, I'm looking forward to some of the contests. Um, I'm thinking specifically of the ladies' ankle contest and the men's go to the cute knee contest. Well, that, of course, those are traditional items as well. Bubblegum blowing contest, stilt walking contest. We have a spam carving coming up on Saturday. That's a huge item. And then, of course, our grand parade on Saturday afternoon at, at noon. And the runners get going on Saturday morning, right? That's a huge event. That, that race, the Alpenfest Alpen race, has just continued to grow. We're expecting 350 to 400 entries this year. And that gets underway at about 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. And that's the 33rd year of that one, too, right? That's exactly right. And it's, as I say, it's just continued to grow. Well, Bill, there's a lot going on here. What does the president do? Well, Alpenfest president, we have a lot of responsibilities. We have a number of committees and a, our board of uh, 10 people uh, that we work all year round. We delegate a lot of things out to other folks to do, volunteers that help us out in the community. And we really get together every month to uh, plan the Alpenfest. And matter of fact, we'll get together in August to plan next year's Alpenfest. But we try to make sure that everyone that wants to be a volunteer or to be helping in the uh, festivities, we find them a job and a spot and a place to uh, participate. Thanks, Bill. All right, you bet. My pleasure. To our 45th annual Alpenfest. 45, 45th on the 45th. Paul, Paul Beachnaw, Bill Wishart with you tonight. We'll be your MCs for the opening ceremonies. Paul, another Thank exciting Alpenfest. Yes, it is. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I got a nice opening ceremony planned tonight. Uh, some very special dignitaries are here with us and uh, we'll begin uh, right now, Bill. Welcome to the 45th on the 45th. The 2009 DAR Award is presented. The purpose of the DAR Award is to collectively honor all of the Alpenfest volunteers who work behind the scenes and whose contributions may appear to go unnoticed. This award is named for Dar Manju, who for many years assisted her husband, her husband Jim, with his duties as general manager of Alpenfest. No one better symbolizes the intent of this award than the person whose name it proudly bears. The top of the plaque says John Jenkins. Congratulations, John. And truly, whenever something goes wrong, John is always the first name on 
all of our cell phone lists. He's always there. He comes to our office for coffee. Absolutely fantastic recipient. Thank you so much, John, for everything you do for uh, the festival for many years. Something I know I will never forget is my week at... Hold it. What's going on here? Mr. Interruption here. Ooh. Everyone needs to boo to send him away. This is the nasty yeah, interrupter. We don't want him interrupting our festival. It started. Hey. We're supposed to have fun. Go over. back to Switzerland. It's canceled. Or wherever you're from. You're out of here. <laughs> no, 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 you. Boo. Boo. I'm from I ain't win the Dar Award. <laughs> you're never going to win the Dar Award. I'm the mayor of this town. Boo. Every year he comes to Gaylord to interrupt the festival. He interrupted our honors luncheon today. And now he's here to interrupt our festivities, our opening ceremony. The girls are not very pretty. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Go home. Oh, I know you're here because they're your family. <laughs> hey, there's bad weather coming in right now. Lightning. Oh, no bad weather. No. Not gonna happen. Okay, this row's the first row to go. <laughs> no! Come on! Hey, Bruce and Cabbage Family! <laughs> no foolish people allowed! You gotta go! You know, there's one sure way to get no, rid of her guests. There's there. no way at Yes, all. there is. There's one the sure day. way. That's by singing our national anthem during Alpenfest, and that's Edelweiss. So sing it, Bill. Why don't you give that microphone to Carly Shear? Because she's got a great voice. Sing with me as we sing Edelweiss to get rid of him. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Every morning you greet me. Based on a tradition, we modified that a little bit. Uh, we will have some people circulating uh, throughout the pageant. You can uh, put your troubles down on a piece of paper. We'll put them all into the food and uh, we'll set it aflame once it gets dark. And once uh, your troubles are burned away, it's time to forget all your worries, forget all your fears, and Alpenfest really begins, the party begins, and everyone have, can have a great time. But you don't have to wait until then to have a great time. I'm Mike Reeling, the 2009 Parade Marshal, Alpenfest. With the ringing of the bells on behalf of the citizens of our city and county, I proclaim Alpenfest 2009, the 45th annual celebration is now officially open. Let the festivities begin! Enjoy Alpenfest, everyone! It's no secret the name of this year's Burgermeister is Gene and Barb Fleming, and probably, if not the adults in the crowd, the children have had some contact with the Flemings on their centennial farm as each fall they bring through hundreds of students from the area to visit and share the role of agriculture in this community. All I want to say is Mike Reeling said it just fine. Let the festivities begin. We were at the honors, let me say honored, of course, very thankful to this community, the people that were there. Lovely, lovely community. Have a good time. Enjoy the Alpen Fest. I'd like to congratulate and I want to introduce our board. I, I have served on many boards and committees in our community over the years. And this group, they're not just here to get their name on the letterhead. This group truly, truly works and it's a pleasure to work with them. I would like to acknowledge the sponsor for this evening's opening ceremonies, Fifth Third Bank and C2AE uh, design firm here in Gaylord. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. We can't do it without all of our sponsors to keep going on Alpenfest every year. Thank you very much. <laughs>